Hi there, my name is Meg and I am the owner and certified personal trainer here at AIM Fitness Online. Now I am joined today by my little dog Fit Finley who's having a rest. As many of you know, he loves to rest when I exercise. I don't know how that works, how I have to do all the work, but here we are. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm going to be leading you through some seated chair exercises. So these exercises are going to be focusing on relaxation, we're gonna be focusing on flexibility and on improving your energy. So let's get started. So I encourage you to find a comfortable chair to sit on and move towards the middle or the edge of the chair so you can sit a little bit straighter and a little taller. And we're gonna start with some nice easy movements as we breathe. So let's start with the figure eight movement. We're gonna breathe in and breathe out. So breathe in as you reach your arms to one side, breathe out as you reach the other way. And really focus on a nice, easy stretch, easy movements as we're warming up our body. Now, if you are someone who is new to my channel, be sure to let me know and leave a one in the comment section and let me know where you're watching from. And if you're someone who's been around for a while, you've been watching a lot of my videos, leave a two and also let me know where you're tuning in from. All right, so it is so important to move our bodies and I love helping adults 50 plus uh, build the habit of doing it every single day. And it doesn't have to be very long, but just moving your body for 10, 15 minutes can be so, so good. All right, one more time, inhale and exhale good now for the next one we're going to bring those hands together and then i want you to bring your arms above your head and then circle those arms out to the side and return your hands to your chest so up and circle around so this will be a great stretch for your back for those arms and especially your shoulders breathing in and breathing out as you lower your arms all right, wonderful. So I love to do some stretches every morning and this is a really good time of day to think about exercising. It's first thing when you get up, but another good time that you can really do some movements and exercises is sometime in the afternoon. Now, quite often after we have a meal, we may become a little tired, maybe a little sluggish as we're digesting our food. So just doing some movements, just like we're doing together, can really help to aid in digestion and increase your energy too. Let's do three, good, and two, and one. All right, good. Now for the next one, we're going to be bringing one leg in front and one leg um, out to the side. All right, so it looks like this. One leg is bent, one leg is a little bit straighter. And now we're going to keep your hand with the bent knee right on that knee. The other arm, we're gonna reach out to the side. So we're leaning and then reaching up overhead. So lean and reach to the side and then bring that arm over your head. Now, if you've osteoporosis, keep your spine straight and limit that movement. Don't, um, don't lean quite as far. So this is what you'll want to do. If you don't have osteoporosis and you want to go a little bit lower or lean a little further to the side like I'm doing now, feel free to adjust the movement as it feels good. All right, good. So add that stretch. You'll probably feel it right underneath your shoulder, underneath your, your shoulder and your armpit in the side of your torso. Good, keep on breathing. Sometimes we forget. We'll do two more. Good, and one more time. Excellent, so we're gonna change legs. Other side, take that leg out a bit. We're gonna change hands. So this time reaching with this arm, we're gonna be leaning, reaching, and then lift the arm up overhead. So again, remember to limit that movement. If you've osteoporosis, more like this. Or if you do not and you want to take it a little further, a deeper stretch, feel free to adjust it. Inhale and exhale. Good. 
And just notice how you're feeling. I find when I do these movements, I start to feel more energized and often I feel more motivated as well. Let's do three. And two. Good work. One more time. Good. And then come on up, bring those feet in together. All right, we're gonna do one more, one more. This time we're gonna lean all the way back against that chair. Hold on to the side of your chair and then lift your knee in and extend the leg out. We're gonna focus on one leg in and extend that leg out. Now, as you bring the knee in, pull in your core, pull in your belly button towards your spine and then stretch that leg out. All right, so this is a great exercise for the leg, also really good for your core as well. Good, let's do five more. And four, three, two, and one, good. Let's lower that leg and do the other side. Lift the knee, extend the leg out. Good, so if you spend a lot of time sitting, doing some leg stretches just like this can really help you to keep, bring some movement back to your legs and uh, increase that blood flow to your feet. Four more, and three, two, and one and let's lower that leg. All right, sit up nice and straight. We'll circle our shoulders backwards a few times. And I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Now, bring your hands to your heart and I encourage you to think about one thing that you are grateful for today. So thank you for joining me. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel so that I can keep creating videos like this for you. Also, be sure to leave a like and a comment below. Let us know where you're watching from and also let us know what's that one thing that you're grateful for today. Thanks for joining. We'll see you again in a video soon. Bye-bye.